Hey guys, it's Corianne Abreu here. I'm going to be reading for you today, Bully, written by Kyle Logan and illustrated by Alderson Farias. It was the day after Loopy's fourth birthday party and there were so many presents, he didn't know what to do with them. Out of all the presents, Loopy's favorite was from his older brother, Junior. He had given Loopy a brand new Captain K-9 action figure with super duper x-ray vision. Everyone loves Captain K-9. Loopy couldn't wait to play with Captain K-9, so he ran to the playground and began a fun-filled day of imagination and ventures. First, Loopy and Captain K-9 hunted for the lost treasure of Alibaba. They used a map to find where X marked the spot, which just happened to be in the sandbox of doom. Luckily, Loopy had remembered to bring his rope, so he tied Captain Canine onto the end and tossed him into the scary quicksand. Once Captain Canine found the treasure box, they celebrated by drinking delicious cherry juice. Great job, partner, said Loopy. Their next adventure would have been more exciting if only the worst thing in the world hadn't happened. Billy from Loopy's preschool class showed up. Billy was a bully. One time, Billy sat on Loopy's favorite ball at recess and popped it. Another time, Billy pushed Loopy on the ground and gave him a big boo-boo on his elbow. That hurt really bad, cried Loopy. But the worst thing Billy had ever done was when he blamed Loopy for breaking the classroom's pencil sharpener. But Miss Teacher, it wasn't me, Loopy tried to explain. Loopy's teacher didn't believe him and guess what happened? He had to spend playtime inside the classroom all by himself while everyone else got to play outside. Loopy didn't know what Billy was going to do with him this time, but whatever it was, it wasn't going to be very nice. Sure enough, when Loopy wasn't looking, Billy grabbed Captain K-9 and threw him to the tippy top of the playground. No! screamed Loopy, reaching for Captain K-9 as he landed on the roof. Loopy cried when he got home because he knew how impossible it would be to rescue Captain K-9. Good thing Junior Kate, Mimi, and Theo were there to help. Loopy explained what had happened and how Billy was a mean bully. Loopy, you have to tell an adult when someone is being a bully, said Junior. Yeah, added Mimi, Billy's older brother Bobby. He's in our grade and he's the worst bully ever. We can help you get Captain K-9 down, said Theo, holding up his fishing pole. Theo thought he could catch Loopy's toy like a fish. It sounded like a good idea, but Loopy knew it wouldn't fix his bully problem. He ran out to the house determined to do something brave. Loopy realized that even if he got Captain K-9 down today, Billy would still be a bully tomorrow. So Loopy decided to stand up to Billy once and for all. When Loopy got back to the park, he saw something very scary. Billy was with his older brother Bobby, the worst bully of them all. Bobby was even being a bully to his little brother by holding his glasses so high that Billy couldn't reach them. Once Bobby was bored of being mean to Billy, he dropped his glasses in the sand and left. It all made sense to Loopy now. Billy was a bully because his brother was a bully to him. Instead of standing up to Billy, Loopy decided to be a friend. Here are your glasses, said Loopy as he handed them to Billy. Billy couldn't believe that Loopy was helping him, especially after he had been so mean. Thank you, he gratefully replied. It may sound strange, but because of Loopy's single act of kindness, Billy stopped being a bully, not only to Loopy, but to everyone else too. Now they were friends. And the first thing that Loopy's new friend decided to do was help him get Captain K-9 down. Together, they pulled Captain K-9 down and rescued him. Junior, Theo, Mimi, and Kate were so proud of Loopy for changing Billy from a bully to a friend just by being kind. Now all we have to do is figure out how to be nice to your big brother, suggested Mimi. 
the end. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Support this book and the author by clicking the link below. We'll see you next time.